All right, welcome to another video. This is pretty cool for anyone, but especially an Australian. So check this out. Oh, and there it is, the new rig. Yes, today's video will be about that, but we're gonna kick it off with some tobogganing and the boys trying to snowboard, and then we'll get into it. <laughs> God dang. Oh, here's the big rig. I'm not giving anything away, no doubt, because I'm sure you've seen it in the thumbnail, but we'll go over it properly soon. Oh, look at this, fresh powder. This little sucker. Oh, here's the big rig trailer. Two car enclosed. Oof. This is gangster. Do a snowball, go. Oh. Push mama, push her, push. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, that's enough tobogganing video. Let's look at the spicy stuff we've got in a non-snowing day. And look at that spicy trailer. Cut to a non-snowy day. All right, so it's been a few days now. The snow has melted away, or majority has. I've purchased a couple more things. Here we are. Uh, America tour ready setup and a few extra things. All right, so let's start off here with the big rig 2011 F450 King Ranch Edition with the 6.7 liter power stroke. Now, it's not just any 6.7 liter power stroke. And I'll get to that soon, but give you a quick tour of this thing. First of all, how spicy are those running lights? Minimal rusts, which is one thing you got to really look out for, especially in the trucks like this that have done a few miles on them. Something that we need also, which is the bed cap or canopy, we call them in Australia. They call them bed caps here for some reason. The eight foot tray, really cool. And now we can seal everything when we're on tour and we lock it up, don't have to worry. Being a dually or dually in Australia, they call them doolies here. Same, same, but different. Pretty damn cool. Didn't think I'd get one because I thought it'd be painful to park these things. I just had to. It just makes sense to haul this big mama. And I've been driving it around and I'm definitely getting used to how fat it is. And I'm sure we're going to make it fatter when we put some spicy wheels and tires on it. Anyway, there she is, the F450. Uh, we'll get into detail soon on it. And then here we have 2019 Peachtree Enclosed Trailer is what it's called. Now it's a, a three axle as well. I was expecting to get just a two axle, big long flat bed. No, I managed to get a two car fully enclosed. So now we'll be completely out of the weather, which is amazing. So when we're on tour, parked up wherever we are, don't have to worry. Everything's locked away, out of the weather. You know, nothing gets stolen. All the wheels, tires, everything, spare parts. Just makes life so much easier. That's gangster, and I got it for a really good price, which I'll go through prices on things too, because I had a budget, and I'm stoked to be able to get it under that budget. And you would expect it is a lot more, especially if you're an Australian, because these things at home are stupidly expensive. Um, I found out the rules of what you can tow. There's a GVWR, which is like GVM back home, and the maximum combined can't be over 26,000 pounds. I don't know what that is in kilogram. So this is literally just under this combo. Now you can get two axle three car trailers that go off the gooseneck hitch and they're under that weight, but same issue. I'm not gonna be have any room to store anything in there with a gooseneck hitch. Yeah, it's just gonna be cars and I just feel like I'm towing around cars and that's about it. Won't be able to have spare parts like nothing. So. It made sense to can the idea of bringing three cars, so we're down to two. And those two cars are the VL PSI 30 and of course the barrel wag. So unfortunately, 34 didn't get done in time and it didn't make sense to bring it anyway. So now I've got all the room in the world. Pretty tight, I think, those two cars in this trailer. And then I'm gonna have to make some racking and yeah, the rest will cram all in there and the fam and all that. So yeah, there you go. And probably a good time to plug. If you haven't already jumped on it, we're running the Tag the Wags promo for I think the rest of this month, maybe a little bit into Feb until the cars arrive here. They should be here mid-Feb before we start our tours. 
and um, you can get onto that on kibaru.com forward slash tag the wag 40 or 50 bucks and you'll get a lanyard a special limited run usa tour barrel wag style and a limited um i tag the wags 2024 usa tour uh slap sticker which is really cool and of course you'll get your name on the top of the barrel wag so if you want to jump on it get on it appreciate a lot it'll be awesome to get your name on there so they've seen the trailer a little bit all these things that we've got here a little battered and bruised but not too bad it still appears nice. I definitely got plans for all of it to spice it all up. I probably want to paint this, I reckon. I want to paint it black. Let me know your thoughts and a big ass keep a reet down the side. Maybe some sponos if we get some sponos on board. We've obviously already got a few on the barrel wag, so and um yeah, just just clean this thing up. I've already started polishing uh the front here. So I got some polished dust, so just gonna polish it up. Just make it look premium, really. Back on that GVWR. So this is actually 13,300 pounds GVWR, and that is, I think, 12,000. So we're literally like 700 under, and you don't have to worry about what's in it or anything else. It's literally those two tags. If the cops pull you over, they look at them. If you're under, you're all sweet. No CDL, commercial driver's license, need it good to go next thing is this f450 it has been engine swapped well with the same engine that it came with a 6.7 but a brand new crate engine high output 6.7 so newer and better engine than my f250 from what i'm told a smaller bore and longer stroke so it's still 6.7 liter uh, turbo diesel just gain more torque so when they put the motor in they did a bigger turbo, DPF deleted, EGR deleted, straight pipe, five inch exhaust turbo running, I think around 40 or 50 PSI, rotary dial gauge, so you can click in the boost. She absolutely hauls, it's gonna have no problem whatsoever. That was basically one of the major selling points on this. Brand new motor, it's literally just been running on a thousand miles and he sold it and it made perfect sense for me to jump on it. Inside of how comfy this thing is, yes, yeah, got the premium code like my other truck so you can lock it and use that this interior is gangsters this is a king ranch edition this is all the stuff that it has this is like the the theme that they all have brown like leather and uh tan accents <laughs> and it's pretty damn gangster i think the king ranch is like it's supposed to be like the work rig the tow rig so i think the diff ratio this thing has, has is like a four three it's like made made to haul to keep it right in the good gearing when cruising pulling big weights heated seats cooled seats Bluetooth stereo, but the main thing I reckon was the heated seats and big, nice, comfy leather seats. That actually reminds me of the Tundra. If you remember, I had the Tundra. These seats are a bit more comfy than the F250, to be honest. They're just more like a lounge. Yeah, things I've added, of course, instantly got the Broadway and the digital speedo is just always handy just a quick glance down to see what speed you're doing and the auto is the same as f250's auto so they're extremely strong uh one of the strongest autos out there especially for towing absolutely loves life what else oh yeah here's the here's the rotary dial gauge so click between five settings uh pretty much stock boost so all the way up our rear plenty of room just like the f250 at home got the seat for James, little boy James in the middle and the other two boys on their boosters already got shot everywhere in them. Uh, it's got the electric rear window and um, and sunroof. Not the big moonroof like the F250, but I hardly use it anyway, to be honest. It's just kind of nice to have that. Really stoked with that. Um, it does have electric mirrors too, but they fold in and go in and out, same as the F250. It's really handy towing the big rig just so you can see everything going on suspension wheels and tires these are stock wheels toyo open country tires actually quite a nice combo i do want to upgrade to um some big mummers either 20s or 22s i've been looking 22s i reckon suit and maybe the nitto ridge grapplers are one of the best tire or we'll get just a nice all-terrain so we don't get too much road noise for cruising it's got a uh, fox suspension all around so it is quite smooth Although it does feel a little bit bouncy in the front, so I'm not sure whether they're blown on the front. I might throw some Bilsteins in there. There you go. Gangster, but some of those small lanes. I took it through New York the other day, and uh, she was quite tight. It was pretty funny through the city, this thing. So there's parkways in New York. I don't know why they did them. Apparently, it's like something back in the day to stop people from traveling on the roads. So it's like... Yeah, trucks and stuff. So trucks and buses aren't allowed to drive on like majority of the highways through and around New York. So you just got to have to wing it. I'm Australian. I didn't know. 
So much room in the back here, two foot longer than the uh, F250. So much room and now I can stack things up as well. I don't think I'm gonna have an issue there fitting all the spares, wheels to highs if I need to, if I can't get a rack in there. All right, next up, let's go over this trailer. Like I said, 2019, little battered and bruised on, on parts. It's a 34 foot trailer, I think. I do know in millimeters that it's actually tighter than I expected in here to fit the two cars. So there we have, I got a couple of lights. It's got should have power, I think. But yeah, so we've got the floor tracks. Um, I checked the width and I'm pretty sure I can actually finally fit the barrel wags without taking the front wheels off, which was a huge pain. That's two extra wheels you gotta bring around. Keen to test that once the cars are off. It's pretty basic. Uh, we've got the tie down, so they just clip in to these little tracks. But yeah, keen to kind of deck this thing out. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to do with the minimal tools that I've got. I might have to get some local helps, but could do like a little table in the end here tire racking up top or, or run some tire racking down there. Don't know how I'm gonna do it. Um, oh yeah, there she is. And the back here, I have to unlock it, but just got the normal style. Open up like a um, truck door thing. And it just lays nice and flat. Uh, I might give you a preview at the end of the video, loading the car up. But yeah, there you go. All right, I'll talk about price now before I move on to the, the next cars. So I actually got this thing for 10,000 US dollar, which is about 15,000 Oz. And that is insane. So there's just hardly any of these in Australia. They seem to be everywhere here. And the open ones are going for as little as 5,000 or ghetto one for 5,000, a clean or almost new one for seven to 8,000 USD. So to get this thing for 10, I was like, the, the few extra thousand, I was like, that is well worth it. Like, yeah, in Australia, literally 30,000 you'll be spending for something like this. I'm stoked I didn't have to spend that. And the truck um, got that for 32,000. And in Australia, I think they go from 70 to 100,000. Yeah, definitely stoked on, on that with the, the brand new engine and all that. The, the body itself has a lot of miles, but no rust on the body. And only tiny like surface rust, some of the underneath, obviously from the salt on the roads from the snow, um, these cars cop it, but it is what it is. All right, let's move on to the next cars. So we'll touch on, we've got Daniela's car. I'll bring her out. We can go over that a little bit. We just picked it up literally last night. And then this S14, I'm not going to go over, but you can probably guess what it's for. Yes, that's right. It's for the giveaway. So to kick off our US giveaways, that is what we're going to be giving away as our first one, probably next month. And the reason for that is I want to spice it up and then I'll do a feature on it. So I'll wait till then to go over it. You'll notice those wheels in front of it. That is because we're running a promotion right now. If you're a US citizen or from Canada, yeah, you can win these wheels for free. A little promo we're doing for this month. You just need to go on the website and we've got, uh, just sign up your details. I think, yeah, phone number and email. That's all, that's it. And that'll put you in the running and we'll draw it at the end of the month. They are actually the wheels that I use at the Canada LZ World Tour. Uh, they've got a few little marks on them, but they're pretty much brand new. Kansai Neos, 18 by nine, plus 22, five by one, 14.3 with brand new 235, 40, 18 accelerators. So really cool wheel. Thanks heaps to Kansai for jumping on board for this little promo. And if you're in the US, make sure you jump on that right now. And I'm uh, psyched to give you a uh, quick little specs. SR20 DET left-hand drive, 240SX, um, of course. So um, any uh, US boy can jump in that and enjoy it. Manual, all that sort of stuff. But we'll go over it soon. Cook your front and rear. I can't help myself. All right, where's Danielle? We'll get her out and uh, we'll go over her car. Oof. All right, so here we go. We picked this up yesterday. We wanted something for Danny to basically have a run around. Looks like we're going to be here for around six months in Connecticut. And who knows, probably coming back this way and don't know, but it's good for Danielle to have her independence. Uh, so to get, to get the kids out of here, especially when I'm out and about and working on cars, this thing came up. It's a F30 BMW. Don't know anything about the BMWs. It's a 2014 328i. Yeah, something like that. X drive or something, which I think just means all wheel drive. A few, few dints, but presents amazingly well as like fresh tires wheels look kang yeah. it's like an aggressive new look car like the inside is like immaculate so yeah. it's a, a really nice car um 
we should talk about the price, I guess. So we paid what? It was up for seven. I think we paid six. six. But USD. yeah, six USD, so under ten k mm. for a extremely clean leather interior. It's got a few options. Um, sunroof. Like most yeah. Cars have seats, yeah, you probably need them. Heated seats. Yeah, heated seats. The um, reverse camera. Everything you need, basically. Mm. And yeah, it's just a smooth ride. Yeah, like Go depending where we're going. Yeah, if, if uh, you need to get get out and around, mm -hmm. we can ditch one of the cars, load up whichever one we want to take, and and load up this as well. It should fit. It's about the same size as mm. that. So I'm not yeah. confident driving that car. Nah, you're gonna drive it. You'll be right. It's just a little bit big, rig, bit wide, and a bit long. I'm struggling to adjust this left hand. Drive yeah, it definitely takes a while. I'm still only just getting. Still only getting it after what well, we've been here for oh, almost a, yeah, a month now. So Yeah, I don't know. It's just like the whole... I felt more comfortable driving this car being left-hand drive. I think because it's like more nimble and small. Yeah, yeah small you Whereas just get like away with it. Whereas like the higher car, it was also really jolty, the mm. Ford Explorer. Yeah, okay. Good purchase, good yeah. purchase. Good all right. Well, there you go, that's it. We're all set up, ready to tour the USA. If you haven't... Jump on Tag The Wags and support our journey. If you're from the US, drop us a follow, like, subscribe, uh, so you can get all the updates and see where we're gonna be traveling around. I've got a bit of a calendar together, so one of the next videos will go over that. Stoked, and if you are up in the US as well, jump on the, the free wheel giveaway, win yourself some some Kansai Neos. So uh, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna load up the S14 now and uh, get ready to do some work on it. Yeah, looking forward to bring you some more content from the US. It's been good settling in, starting to feel comfy now. We'll see you on the next one.